guys. Um, this video is a video that I don't normally do. It's quite a different video, but it's a type of video that I feel is really necessary right now in this moment in time. Um, purely because Casey Neistat just released a video responding to PewDiePie's video about forced positivity on YouTube. And basically what these guys are talking about is that when people make YouTube videos there is a certain um, environment where people feel like they have to be positive all the time on YouTube. And uh, basically what Casey Neistat is saying is that behind the scenes, behind all the sort of YouTube video, YouTube life normal life happens you know um, for example you know normal life isn't all positive you know everybody goes through down times and specifically myself where you know travel is not all glamorous it's not all happy it's not all fun you know travel is very very difficult um, you know for example I'm in a dorm room with my laptop here and such a small cramped space, um, no windows um, and I have to try and somehow figure out how, how I'm going to get a job, how I'm going to become a digital nomad, you know, uh, I've then got to, you know, sometimes I can't even go out with mates because I have to be committed to what I'm doing here on YouTube because at the end of the day, if I want to get anywhere, if I want to have any results, then I have to be committed to my job, which is YouTube. Now, YouTube is not my full-time job at the moment, obviously, because I've just started out. But that's another thing. When you just start out on YouTube, it is very, very difficult. It's very difficult when you have no experience. It's very hard when you don't have a lot of views and subscribers to get yourself going because not only do you have to build up your YouTube channel, you have to think of a strategy. You have to think, right, okay, what do people want? How do I deliver it? And not only that, you actually have to go out and try and film and create and then you've got to come back and edit and upload and all this takes time. For example, a lot of YouTubers will tell you that seven hours it takes on average to edit a video on average seven hours um, and if, if you can imagine seven hours so imagine you start at 6 a.m. that would take you to 1 p.m. you've then got to film and edit again and upload um, you know if you're a daily vlogger you can you know obviously relate to that um, and if you're not a daily vlogger then you can obviously see how hard YouTube actually is now when it comes to forced positivity and people feeling like they have to be happy all the time on camera, you can understand just how much pressure that adds again on top of the already amount, sheer amount of work that has to be done on YouTube. Now, for example, now another thing, I have a five minute video of me crying on my YouTube channel. It's called I'm Broke, I'll link it up here and you can watch that. But that is real life and I did end up broke because I didn't manage my money properly and I suffered the consequences for it um, and I didn't put it up there because I wanted attention I didn't put it up there because I wanted money I didn't put it up there because I wanted people to feel sorry for me or anything like that I put it up there because it's part of my journey it's something that happened and I felt that it was important to share that with you because at the end of the day, every single backpacker that goes backpacking around the world suffers from the hardship of trying to find money because, let's face it, you have to try and find money otherwise you can't travel. And for a lot of these backpackers, travel is their dream and to not have money is the most scariest thing in the world for them. And it certainly is for me because this is what I want to do. Now, another thing that I want to talk to you about is um, a film. And it's a film where Will Smith is the main actor in it. And it's a true story. 
and that film is called The Pursuit of Happiness. Now that film portrays real life. Real life is the pursuit of happiness, right? Nobody is happy 24-7 and nobody can say that they've found happiness because life is a pursuit of happiness. You have to constantly pursue happiness. And that doesn't mean you get it. That just means that you have to constantly look for the positives in life. You have to see the bright side because if you want to get anywhere, if you want to do anything in life, then a lot of your best results do come from being positive. But there's a difference between being positive and trying to be positive slash fake positivity or forced positivity. Um, if you just pick up the camera or if you just go about your life and like uh, forcing yourself to be positive, then that is the route to actually feeling worse. You know, if you go about your life and think, right, okay, this is a really crap situation, but this is what it's gonna be like if I keep going. It's gonna be good. I can see and I can picture what life will be like if I just keep going through this bad time and if I do keep going through the bad time, I'll then be able to grab the reward. I'll then be able to grab what it is that I'm after in the long haul. And that is a much healthier perspective to view happiness and positivity from. If you have a goal, if you have something that you're working towards, understanding that every single moment is not gonna be happy and that it is gonna be a grind, it is gonna be a hustle, and that you're gonna have to really work hard then knowing that you're going to have to go through all that and seeing the reward at the end of it is a much healthier way to view positivity and happiness. Um, and for example, you know, I'm not always happy. You know, I'm a very neutral person. Um, I take life as it comes every day. Sometimes I wake up and I think, oh my God. God, I really can't be asked doing anything. I can't be asked going out and filming. You know, right now I'm trying to figure out my strategy. How the hell am I gonna, you know, get people interested in my videos? How do I get more subscribers? How do I get more views? Uh, how do I make my content better? How can I earn money? How can I go and upgrade my equipment? You know, all these things are going through my mind. You know, so it's 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 you know, it seems all glamorous, but in truth, it isn't. And, you know, give credit to all the YouTubers out there who are, you know, portraying happiness because at the end of the day, that's really what life is all about. Life is pursuing happiness. And I just think that if you can be happy and you can share that happiness with other people, that's, a, that's the most amazing thing in the world and I think more people need to do that but they just need to do it in a way that's healthy and not forced. Yeah, I think that's basically my response to Casey Neistat's video and obviously PewDiePie's video because that's who Casey Neistat responded to. So I will definitely link those two channels and videos in the description of this very video that you can go and check out. Um, also, also, I have to mention that this is not about mental illness. This is not about that. This is just about highlighting the fact that you don't need to force happiness on yourself. You know, you can be real, you can share your reality with people and you don't need to be scared about doing that. Um, you know, if you are suffering from mental issues, mental health issues, you know, there's, I'm going to leave some links in the description that you can go and check out. YouTube is an awesome place. It's full of opportunity. And I think the more authentic you can be, the better the rewards at the end. And it isn't all about the rewards. YouTube is a place where you can be yourself. YouTube is a place where you can share your life with others. And I think we need to pull the curtain down on the fact that you have to be positive 24-7 because it isn't realistic and it isn't authentic and it isn't what YouTube is about. YouTube is about 
people coming together and sharing their experiences. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments. I would love to hear from you. Give it a like if you've liked it and give it a share if you think it can help anybody that you know. All right, I'm going out. I've got a video that is about to come out very, very shortly um, and I hope you like it. But remember, the world is at your feet. Go and explore. Create some epic moments. I'll see you in the next video.